Good morning. Welcome to Flannel Hill Farm. Oh boy. I am going to do as much as I can by myself today. Um, it appears that Big K ate some bad fruit. I think what happened was it was good fruit and he didn't realize that there was still some in the fridge. So last night he grabbed it and he's like, he opens it and he goes, I can't believe these are still good. And he ate a lot of them. And then about six hours later, Big K was not doing too hot. So we're just gonna let him sleep as much as possible. I will probably inadvertently wake him up with my doings today, but we're gonna try not to. I am going to check the garden out, probably do some weeding since that appears to be a full-time job, which I'm okay with. If I can be out here in the garden full-time or with animals full-time, I would be okay with that. So, new hat. It's a black 3M one. Um, I really want to wear the Puerto Rican one, but I really, really don't want to get it dirty. So, I have that problem. Okay. On to a garden tour. Should maybe only do these once a week. You guys should let me know. Do I do garden tours for you guys too often? I'm out here every day. This is basically what I'm doing, so I don't know. Oh. First, we must throw the ball for the dog. Where'd she go? Oh. Dodo bird! It's out there! Okay. So. Melons are still looking phenomenal. And the ones that we just did a couple weeks ago are starting to grow. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We have aphid eggs. You see those little black... Okay. Oh, and they're starting to spread already. How does this happen in one day? Okay, we have options. Aphid eggs you can get rid of by mixing a dish soap solution and water. and spraying it. You can rub, you can like pull them off if there's not that many of them, but this plant is covered. And we, you can do an essential oil mix or we could sacrifice this whole plant. He has zero cares to give of about aphids. Dang it. Hmm. This one plant 
might be too far gone. There's a lot of them, you guys. Look at all these. Look at all that. That one might just be a goner. Dang. I've been out here every day. How does this happen? And they have kind of spread to the next ones. Those I should be able to take care of. <sighs> All right. I think we've lost a melon plant. I think that's gonna be the best way to deal with this, is to just pull that plant and then try to get rid of them on the other plants. I could just spray them with water, too. Dang it. Does me no good, does us no good to sit here and dwell on it. What else we got going on? Okay, so we got, it's just that one too. So it's not a huge deal. Now we know, I guess we should probably put uh, insect netting up right away. There we go. We learned something. All right, potatoes. Potatoes are doing fantastic. Look at all these potatoes. There's one here, one down there. Oh, there's one here. It looks like the top was eaten off. I did come out last night and just do a real quick run over. And it looks like I have deer walking around in the garden. I don't know if they're eating anything, but yeah, we got quite a few potato sprouts coming in. And we got a big cluster in this other bed we haven't had much in, so that's good. Good, good. Yeah, see, here, show you the deer prints. So, mm. all of a sudden, out of nowhere, you garden, you garden, you garden, no pest, no pest, no pest, and then all of a sudden, but it's a beautiful day, so, so far, I think today will be the day that our heat breaks. It's gonna be up into like 94, 95, and then it's supposed to storm tomorrow, and then we should be down in the 80s. <laughs> oh, I think the deer did eat. It looks like the tops have been eaten off of some of my beans. I. I was hoping that we could do this in harmony. Apparently deer have other ideas here. Hi. Mm. All right, so we got, but the beans that are coming along really, really well are doing just fine. So that's good. That's encouraging. Cucumbers are...
pseudo climbing our trellis. My peas aren't catching on here yet, but cucumbers. They're they're doing all right here. So, cucumbers and peas are doing okay. As long as they keep going. Radishes. We got some. Not very many. Our zucchini and spaghetti squash are going to town here. Okay, now we got a problem. Now I have a big problem. I think he's all the way out by the road. Let me show you this quick and then we'll take a walk and we'll talk about this. All the leaves are gone off of our sweet potatoes. These deer are becoming an enemy real quick like I start walking towards him then he starts running back Him and KK were just playing. KK! KK's all the way up here. I don't get it. Okay. If that killed my sweet potatoes, I'm going to be upset. Oh! Looks like I'm going in defense mode. Not happy. Alright. Oh! You guys. You guys. Fuck. Can you see this? We have zucchini. them on this plant. That's so exciting. Now I just gotta keep it growing. Just gotta keep them going. I am so mad. Alright. We're going on deer defense. We got pumpkin and winter squash looking good. Hi. Okay. So, deal with the garden. Deal with deer. If you have any ideas on deer, besides pounding more T-posts, putting another fence in, golly. So garden, deer, I gotta deal with the holding tanks in the RV. 
What else can I do? Should probably figure out something to make for dinner. Oops. Probably check on Big K every once in a while. Try to put some air into my, not the truck, but my truck tires. And I guess try to figure out insect netting. Maybe the insect netting will keep the deer at bay too? Or are they just gonna eat through my insect netting? <sighs> Help me out guys, comment down below. I'll try to get this uploaded as quickly as I can so that I can get what you guys are thinking. Got a lot of phone calls to make when it gets hot out today. And I don't know, these deer. I'm gonna end up having to go back in the RV and do some research. Oh, we're doing so good. I really hope that does not affect our sweet potatoes. All right. On your way back down the hill, if you wouldn't mind liking, sharing, subscribing, hitting that little bell notification thing, that little thing, and comment, please tell me if you know anything about keeping deer away, dealing with deer, or if my insect netting will keep the deer out, or if they'll just chew through that. Never had a problem with deer. Now all of a sudden I got a problem with some deer. Alright. I really do appreciate y'all. <laughs>